You've taken the emergency contraceptive pill and to get worried because you've started bleeding. Was that supposed to happen? What does it mean? Is it implantation bleeding? Has the pill worked? If you want to learn what to expect with the bleeding side effects of the emergency contraceptive pills and what they mean, make sure you watch this video to the end. And if you find this kind of information useful, make sure you like this video and click that subscribe button so that you know when I publish more videos like this that you will enjoy. Right, so let's see what are the bleeding side effects of emergency contraceptive pills that you should expect. Hey there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Sylvia, a general practitioner and health educator with Ask Away Health. I get asked a lot of questions about bleeding problems after using the emergency contraceptive pill. The most common emergency contraceptive pills around can contain levonorgestrel or bilipristol. Levonorgestrel is a synthetic progesterone that you find in pills like Postinol, Post Pill, Take Action, Plan B, Levonel, and so on. Bilipristol is a synthetic progesterone receptor modulator which is marketed as an emergency contraceptive in some countries as ELA or ELA-1. Whichever the case, both of them prevent pregnancy by delaying ovulation which is the event where the ovary releases an egg every month. I talk a lot more about them in other videos so if you want to learn more about Uliprestol check out this video here and if you want to learn more about the other effects from emergency contraceptive pills check out this video here. But today we're looking at bleeding after using emergency contraceptive pills. So here are two changes that you can expect. First, it can delay your period. The majority of women who use the emergency contraceptive pill find that their period either comes about the same time as usual or within seven days of the expected date of the period. This is the case in about 90% of cases for levonorgestrel and about 75% of cases for ulipristol. In women using ulipristol, 20% of them could actually find that their period is delayed for longer than 7 days and in a tiny number, the period came earlier. As a rule, after using any emergency contraceptive pill, please watch for your next period very carefully and if it's delayed by more than 7 days, take a pregnancy test. The second reason, you can have bleeding that is unrelated to your menses. This is when you bleed in between your periods. Some women may find that they bleed at a time that is nowhere near their period and then get another episode of bleeding during their period or around the time of their expected period. This is also intermenstrual bleeding and can be another side effect of the pill. Usually, it is not heavy and many women describe it as spotting, although some can experience heavy episodes of bleeding. Neither of these changes will tell you whether the pill has worked or not. They are simply the effects of these hormones on your tissues. Your best guarantee that the emergency contraceptive pill has worked is that you've taken it straight away after sexual intercourse and taking it before your ovulation because they work by delaying ovulation. Okay my friends, please let me know in the comments section below if you've had challenging side effects from using the emergency contraceptive pill. If this video helps clarify the bleeding side effects of the emergency contraceptive pills. Next time we're going to be looking at bleeding effects from the contraceptive coil or IUD. Don't forget to like this video and share with a friend if you found it useful and subscribe to my channel by clicking the button down below. While you wait for the next video to go live, check out these two here and I'll see you again soon. Stay healthy.